What's up, Performance Posse? It's Andrew. I'm coming to you from the garage, unfortunately, this morning. I was hoping to be out fishing with my boys. Mother Nature had other plans for us. Um, it was just a rainy, dreary morning, but I thought I'd at least take this opportunity to make a quick video, uh, talk about some of the things that I keep in my boat at all times. These are things that I've overlooked in the past. I finally decided just to put a box together where I keep all these items. There's one item in particular that I think almost everybody overlooks, so I want to share that one with you. Um, hopefully this video helps you guys out. And without further ado, I'm going to flip this camera around. I'm going to show you guys everything I keep inside that little box to keep my days on the water going. Okay, so what you can see here is I just have a standard Sterilite box. You can pick this up for a couple of bucks. I think I got this one at Fleet Farm, but any store is going to have these Target, Walmart, uh, wherever it's convenient for you. Just run out, grab one of these. They're nice. They help keep things dry, but pretty roomy as well. So let's pop this thing open. I'll show you exactly what I keep in this box. Um, I keep my flares in here, you guys. Again, I'm not going to harp too much on that. That's just Coast Guard required equipment. Everybody should have flares and life jackets in their boat at all times, but those stay at this box. I know where this box is at all times, and they're right on top for easy access. In here, I keep just your basic uh, first aid kit. I think I paid less than $5 for this at um, Walmart, but it's got Band-Aids, topicals, medicines, rubber gloves if you need them. There's a little ice pack in there, wound dressings, things of that nature. You never know what you might need out there on the water, so pick yourself up a little first aid kit. You guys, you never know, especially if you're like me and you got kids in the boat with you at times, so that's an essential item. Um, I keep sunscreen in here. I don't generally like to wear sunscreen if I can help it. Um, I normally use a face mask and I've got some gloves by Fish Monkey that I wear to cover my hands, but in the event I forget those or the kids are with, um, it's super important to protect our skin from the sun, you guys, so I always keep a bottle of uh, sunscreen in the boat. A couple batteries. Uh, if you're like me, you fish at nighttime, you may need some uh, backup batteries for your headlamps, and also my iPilot remote control runs on this size battery, so I always keep a few of these in the box just in case, you never know. Um, I usually use my foot pedal, but... Um, in the event the uh, batteries go dead in the uh, handheld remote, I've got extras in the boat for me. Um, bug spray. I fish a ton at night, you guys. I keep two varieties. I got the standard old-fashioned Deep Woods Off. This stuff is great. Uh, works really well for me. I rather enjoy the smell of it. With that said, my wife does not like to smell like Deep Woods Off, so we have uh, this stuff. I picked this up at Farm and Fleet. It's called Bug and it's made with essential oils so it's all natural um, it smells a little nicer than deep woods off in her opinion but it does work this is a great product you guys um, so if you ever run across this um, it works for noceums even down in florida too so uh, super good stuff right here i keep some of that in the boat for the misses at all times this right here you guys this is just a uh, cheap uh Toolkit. I picked this up at Walmart. I want to say it was 18 bucks. I know it was under 20. I want to say 17.99. Um, it's just over um, in their little automotive department. They actually call it a motorcycle toolkit, but it's got screwdrivers, ratchets, basically any kind of tool you could need. This actually saved Jason and I the other night. We had a small issue with my trolling motor. Rather than heading back to the dock, uh, I had this toolkit. Uh, with a little creativity and uh, some careful ingenuity not to drop parts into the water, we were able to make the minor repair that was needed, uh, stay out on the water, and we were actually able to boat almost 18 pounds that night, which is really good for the lake that we happen to be fishing. So, toolkit, you never know what's going to go wrong. Definitely get one of those for yourselves, you guys. Um, backup sunglasses. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten my sunglasses. Uh, so I just keep a pair in the boat at all times. That way I know I've got them when I get out on the water. I wear contacts, so it's super important for me just to keep the wind off my eyes to keep my contacts from drying out. And let's face it, we only have one set of eyes. We should take the proper precautions to protect them, uh, keep ourselves fishing, stay in the game as long as we can. So um, I'm not saying you got to run out and buy a pair of Costas for backups, but definitely keep a pair of sunglasses in your boat at all times, you guys. And then this bag right here, has just some general, rolling at this one-handed, general toiletries, uh, Kleenex. Um, seasonal allergies are really killer up here in Wisconsin at times, so it's nice just to have some Kleenex in the boat. Got some uh, flushable wipes, you never know. 
uh, when you might need those so I keep a little pack of those in the boat um, can never be uh, too prepared for that kind of stuff you guys uh, keep I just buy the off-brand it's all the same in my book uh, this is acetaminophen which would be a, the equivalent of Tylenol and then I also keep ibuprofen in my boat which would be the equivalent of Advil you guys um, you never know who's going to be in your boat. Somebody may not be able to take one or the other, so I like to keep both in the boat at all times. Um, like I said, this is just a Walmart brand. I don't go out and pay the extra for the name brand. And then I've got one more item in this bag, you guys. Um, this is super important, and this could save your trip and your pocketbook. If you fish long enough, you are going to have to take the hook out of somebody. And this is just a length of 20-pound braid. Um, more often than not, if somebody does get a hook in them, you can remove it with just a piece of braided line. Um, it'll save you uh, from going to the emergency room. I'm pretty fortunate we've got really good insurance, but an emergency room trip still costs me 75 bucks, and it brings our day of fishing to an end if we gotta go in. So um, keep a piece of braid in your boat at all times. I don't fish braid a whole lot, you guys, but I always make sure I've got some in the boat just in case I have to remove the hook from somebody, because. Like I said, if you fish long enough, and if you got kids in your boat, you're going to be taking a hook out of somebody eventually. And if you're not sure how to do that, there's a lot of great videos on YouTube on how to remove a hook using a piece of fishing line. Um, that's how I learned how to do it. This has come in handy a couple of times, unfortunately. I've had to use this technique more than once, but uh, it really does work, you guys. So definitely keep a piece of braid handy at all times, because you never know uh, when you're going to need that. But... Well, all right, you guys, that does it for this video. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Again, one of the most overlooked items is this guy right here, this little piece of braid. I can't emphasize the importance of this enough. Um, this can salvage your day on the water, can save you a trip to the ER. Uh, it's a relatively easy thing to do to remove a hook. I'm not saying you're going to be able to get every last hook out of somebody, but more often than not, a piece of braid and the techniques you can learn right here on YouTube can show you how to do that. Um, save yourself that ER copay and keep you out there on the water fishing. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out in any way, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. Until next time, everybody, tight lines.